Hello, welcome back to another Agisoft PhotoScan professional tutorial. Uh, in this episode, I will be going over how to uh, project coordinates. So you can see the default project setting for your coordinates is going to be in latitude, longitude, uh, height above ellipsoid, in WGS 84 geographic coordinates. Now, generally speaking, if you're a land surveyor or even GIS professionals, generally like to work with projected coordinate systems. So Agisoft makes this very easy for, uh, for most systems, at least the ones that are in the EPSG database. So the, uh, if, you, if you're unsure what your settings are at any given moment, you can go up here to settings and you'll see the coordinate system is WGS84 EPSG. 4326. Uh, I want to convert this to, in this case, let's do UTM zone 15 north. So if you go to the convert option, uh, now I'm going to go all the way to the top and I'm going to unclick the geographic coordinate systems and select the projected coordinate systems. I want to go to NAD 83 NSRS 2007. I'm going to plus this out, and then I'm going to go down here to UTM. I know that I'm in UTM zone 15 north, and that happens to be EPSG 3722. I'm going to go ahead and select that and go to OK. And then here's my final option to uh, click OK. So you can see it's going to uh, convert my cameras, and it could convert my markers. What I'd recommend is if you have markers here, Leave those in the native format. You're probably going to collect those in, you know, a projected coordinate system if it's a state plane coordinate system, or it could be a UTM coordinate system. But I, I recommend not reprojecting markers in Agisoft, just the cameras themselves to get them close. So now you can see that these are are in uh, uh, northing and easting and uh, uh, in the UTM zone 15 coordinates. So it's a very quick translation. And then my next step in this case would be to align the, uh, the photos and create a sparse cloud. So I, I cover that in uh, another video, so you can search my channel for that. Uh, but please take a look at some other videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you find it's interesting. And let's uh, uh, see some comments below. It's very helpful for me to pick out the content. Um, so thanks for watching. Till the next one.